I'd like to use this problem to kind of set up the safe dosage calculations problems and to give us a big picture idea of what's going on in these problems and what we can think about and how we can go about solving and determining whether or not a dosage is safe or not. So what do we mean by safe? Now, I want to make it clear that I am not a nurse, I'm not a doctor or have any sort of health training, but when I am referring to or what I'm referring to in these problems as safe we're going to be talking about whether or not the order and the recommended amount match. That's what we mean by safe in these examples. So what does it mean for dose to be safe? That the order matches or is okay with, so it matches the recommended amount. This is what we mean. Now, this may not be how you define safe. But when I use the word safe in these problems, this is what I am suggesting. Now, there may be times when an order is specifically outside the you know, recommended amount that's on a container or that is on a uh, IV bag or whatever it might be, and that could be on purpose. But what we're going to do is to look at the order, we're going to look at the recommended, and we're going to see if they match or if they're in agreement. If not then we say it's not safe and we would check with the prescriber. So we're always going to, in these problems, talk about something being safe if the order matches the recommended dosage. I should put that word in there. So what is the general idea to follow for these problems? Well, first, if we need to match the order and the recommended dosage, we need to make sure the unit on the order matches the unit on the recommended amount. What do I mean by unit? If we're talking about milliliters or if we're talking about milligrams, we need to make sure that the order matches the recommended amount, the unit on the recommended. That, that's supposed to say recommended amount. You're going to hear me use this phrase here. We need to customize, customize the recommended amount. And what I mean by that is the recommended amount given to a patient, whether it be on a label or from a doctor's or a prescriber's instructions, the recommended amount is typically going to be given to us as a measure of milligrams per kilogram per day or milliliters per kilogram per day, it's going to be given to us weight-based. So the recommended amount is typically weight-based. It has that per kilogram in it, which means we need to customize it, not for any patient, but for the patient with that we're talking about, specifically the weight of the patient that we are focused on. So let's look at the information in this example. I'm going to look at the order, I'm going to look at what's recommended, and I'm going to compare them. So first I'm just going to write down what each of these is. The order, it's telling me that I need to administer 30 milligrams of this dilantin, 30 milligrams, by mouth, for every eight hours. So this is equivalent to saying 30 milligrams per dose. Every dose the patient needs to receive 30 milligrams. What's recommended? Let me make this line over here. The recommended is 5 milligrams per kilogram per day. 5 milligrams per kilogram per day. Now, if we were to compare these right now, I would see, well, they need to be given 30 milligrams, or they're expected to be given 30. That's above 5. That's not safe. The problem with making that conclusion is the order is given to us in milligrams per dose. The recommended is milligrams per kilogram per day. These are completely different values here, and they're describing two completely different things. So what we want to do is to compare them, we can't do that unless their units match. So what I typically recommend students do is to customize that recommended amount. Take this recommended amount and customize it for this patient. In other words, 
let's get rid of these kilogram. This per kilogram is messing everything up because this is for any patient. We know the weight of our patient in this problem is 18 kilograms. So we can customize this recommended amount by multiplying by 18. If we do that, what do we get? You should get 90, and the unit would be milligrams per day. So now we might say, oh, this is now way below, way below the recommended. The patient needs to receive 90 milligrams. We're only giving 30. But again, you're making a conclusion based on incorrect information. This is milligrams per day. This is milligrams per dose. So what we need to do, again, is to get them to match. So how could I do that? Well, think about this order. If you followed through with this order, you would be giving this every eight hours. And if you do that, every eight hours, this would be for three doses. You would be administering this dose, this particular 30 milligrams, three times. So we need to get them to match. So one way I can do that is to change this, not for milligrams per dose, but let's figure out how many milligrams, if I follow through with the order, how many milligrams per day will I be giving? So if I give 30 milligrams every one dose, in this problem, I know there are three doses in one day because we would be following this order three times every eight hours. So what would we get? This would be 90 milligrams per day. So finally, I have arrived at the place where my order in milligrams per day and my recommended is in milligrams per day, and they match. So is this safe? Again, I'm using the word safe depending on if they match or are relatively you know, very close here. We would say, yes, it is appropriate, it is safe because they are exact here. So let's take a step back. The general idea in these problems is we need to compare the order, what we would be actually administering with what is recommended for this patient. But what's recommended is typically given to us in a different unit. And most of the time it's weight-based. So we need to change, get, first of all, get rid of that kilograms. We need to consider the patient's weight and customize it for this patient. But even after we do that, the units might not match. So we need to consider a few other things. How many doses per day are you giving? And do the labels, after adjusting for the weight, do they match? At that point, once the, mat, once the order and the recommended match, you can make a comparisons about whether or not it is appropriate for this child.